Welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about CoQ10 and its protective effects on the vitality of your skin. So we all know CoQ10 is primarily thought of as a cardiovascular nutrient, and it certainly does help the heart. But as I've told you many times before in these episodes, you want to think of CoQ10 more broadly as the energy of your mitochondria, which themselves are the energy furnaces inside every one of our cells. So if you want to think of the mitochondria like the engine in your car, CoQ10 would be the gasoline for the car. As anyone entering their advanced years knows, as we age, we don't have nearly as much energy as we did when we were younger. And this lack of energy shows up not just in how we feel, but also in how we look. So when your cells are unable to maintain and repair themselves properly, this can cause skin wrinkles, skin sagging, and other physical signs of aging. So mitochondria being the energy furnaces inside every one of our cells burn food molecules and generate adenosine triphosphate or ATP which delivers energy to the cells. Over time the daily stresses of life damage the mitochondria and there are many causes for this stress including multiple toxins and infections and some of it even comes from the mitochondria's own generation of energy themselves. So as you can imagine, damaged mitochondria are far less efficient and produce far less ATP from food, and that leaves us eventually with a severe energy deficit. And this is typically what you see in much older individuals. In our skin, insufficient ATP means inadequate cell maintenance and repair. So one result is visibly wrinkled skin and sagging skin that doesn't look nearly as alive as it did some 20 or 30 years before. So mitochondrial activity in an aging person obviously slows down as they grow older. And because of that, this results in lower rates of energy production over the entire body. And that certainly includes the skin. When you take CoQ10, usually in a high enough dose that replenishes the heart and gives you some energy, this gives a tremendous boost to the activity of your mitochondria, regardless of what age you are. But it's especially important for those of us who are older. So just by restoring mitochondrial energy production this way, skin tissue repair and maintenance is vastly improved. And this is one way in particular to protect your skin over time and rapidly slow the aging process. But as we grow older, our natural CoQ10 levels drop. I've told you CoQ10 production peaks about age 25 and then begins to dip slightly. And then around age 40, it tends to take a swan dive and it gets lower and lower and lower every year after that. So someone entering their advanced years in their 70s and 80s is producing little to no CoQ10 compared to when they were 20. So this really underscores the need for effective and constant CoQ10 supplementation. Because CoQ10 levels drop with age, the mitochondria will then burn their fuel inefficiently, wasting energy and producing even more toxic byproducts. So you can see the emergence of a deadly cycle beginning here. As we get older, CoQ10 supplementation is a critical step in maintaining healthy skin into your advanced years. But as I've told you many times before, CoQ10 benefits every cell in the body. And that's actually where its scientific name ubiquinone is derived from. The word ubiquitous meaning occurring everywhere. There is no recommended dose of CoQ10 necessarily. You do want to take a large enough dose to where you can replenish your heart and then feel some actual energy from the CoQ10. And this energy is nothing like caffeine. There's no jittery feeling and there's no crash afterward. For an even better absorbed CoQ10, CoQ10, especially for older people, you should look into ubiquinol, which is the reduced active form of CoQ10. And I've told you before that a good way to look at CoQ10 and ubiquinol that's easy to understand is a gasoline metaphor in which CoQ10 would be regular unleaded gasoline and the ubiquinol form is super premium unleaded plus. So the older we get, the harder it is for the body to convert regular CoQ10 to ubiquinol. And ubiquinol is far better absorbed. And I personally take ubiquinol every day for energy. It's the best energy supplement I've ever taken. And you can really feel a difference when you stop taking it. So if you're looking to slow the aging process, you really should think about increasing your CoQ10 dosage. Try to take CoQ10 until you feel a nice boost of energy from it. And that can be individual to the person, how much that'll be. But maybe start out with about 1 to 300 milligrams a day. And if you don't feel any energy from that dose, take more.
And if you do this long term, it's a fantastic way to maintain the youthful appearance of your skin as we grow older. I've told people for years to take CoQ10 as part of a repair maintenance regimen toward healing a sunburn because I personally don't believe in sunscreen and as you can imagine because of that I've gotten frequent sunburns so CoQ10 is an exceptional way to heal the skin from the trauma of a sunburn from the inside out. Thanks for watching I'm Jason Carter and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.